Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Sai Mehta Asset Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. In this video lecture series, we are providing in mathematics the most in expected question for ESET examination based on the analysis of all the previous ESET examination questions, MSET questions, NEET questions, JE questions. We have collected the most expected questions for the future ESET examinations for all the aspirants of ESET 2024. So, my dear students, what are you waiting for? Start your preparation with SaiMeda.in app with this YouTube channel. Free content every single day we are updating. To know all the notifications and as well as updates from the SaiMeda channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the further updates. In this video lecture series, we are concentrating on the most expected questions of mathematics. So start watching all the videos from starting from the day one video lecture. Okay. In this video, we are going to be talking about mathematics, inverse trigonometry concepts, all the important questions. Question number one. Observe the question. This is regarding the range type of problems here. In here, we are having a cos inverse of zero. Cos inverse of zero. For what angle we are going to be having the zero value? Suppose some cos inverse of angle is theta. So cos theta is equals to zero. So cos 90 will be giving you the zero value. So here I can write cos inverse as it is. Cos zero can be written as cos 90. So left out of a part is 90. Outside we have 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into pi by 2 is pi by 4. Outside we have tan, tan 45. What is the tan 45 value? 1. So answer for this question is going to become what? 1. Go through it. Very simple question. You need to know for what value you are going to get cos 0. That is 90. Absolutely correct. 90 times of 1 by 2, pi by 4, tan 45, tan 45 is 1. Question number 2. Let us go for it. Sin inverse of x plus sin inverse of y. We are having formulas for sin inverse of x plus sin inverse of y as we discussed in the previous video lecture also. What is the formula sir? Sin inverse of x root 1 minus y square plus y root 1 minus x square. x is 3 by 5. Root of 1 minus y square is 5 square by 13 square plus y 5 by 13 root of 1 minus x square 3 square by 5 square. We know 13 square minus 5 square is 12 square. 5, 12, 13 is the triplet. 3, 4, 5 is the triplet. So here 13 square minus 5 square is 12 square. So it is going to become 12 by 13. We have here 3 by 5 plus 5 by 13 is as it is 5 square minus 3 square 4 square. So it says 4 by 5. 13, 5, 65, 13, 5, 65, 65 as it is 12, 3, 36, 36 plus 20, 36 plus 20, 56, 56 by 65. We have here sine inverse outside, total outside we have cos. So now this sine inverse need to be changed in terms of cos inverse. We know the triangle rule here theta opposite is 56 hypotenuse is 65 adjacent is 33 again it is a triplet we require adjacent by hypotenuse so what is the formula gonna become cos cos inverse of 33 divided by 65 so what is the answer gonna become here 33 by 65 go through it once next question pause the video note it down 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 2 tan inverse formula we need to know 2 tan inverse x is equals to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square what is it gonna look like tan inverse of 2x 2 by 3 1 minus x square that is 4 by 9 2x by 1 minus x square x is 1 by 3 right so 1 by x square is 1 by 9 9 minus 1 8 by 9 2 divided by 3 2 1s are 2 4 are 3 1s are 3 3 are 4 by 3 will become 3 by 4 so it is tan inverse of 3 by 4 plus tan inverse of here we have 1 by 7. Now it is in the form of tan inverse of m by n. This direct answer is 45. So how can we tell the answer is direct 45? Observe here. Whenever the question is given in this format tan inverse of m by n plus tan inverse of n minus m that is denominator minus numerator divided by denominator plus numerator then the answer will become what? 45. Observe here. 4 minus 3, what is it? 1. 4 plus 3, what is it? 7. So here this is 4 minus 3 by 4 plus 3 form. That is n minus m by n plus m. What is the answer for this type of question? Direct pi by 4. Or else you can go for the cross matters also. 3, 4, 1, 7. Then 7, 3 is a 21. 4, 1 is a 4. 7, 4 is a 28. 3, 1 is a 3. 
21 plus 4 is 25, 28 minus 3 is also 25, 25, 25 cancel 1. That is tan inverse of 1 is equal to again the answer is pi by 4. Cross method. Cross method how are we going to do? We are going to write all these numbers 3, 4, 1 and 7. 4 letters. This is first multiply, this is second multiply, this is third multiply, this one is fourth multiply. Okay. In the numerator we write plus, in the denominator we write minus when we have here plus, 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 minus. If you have minus here, numerator you will get minus, denominator you are going to get plus or else the direct formula is also there x plus y by 1 minus x y. With that formula also you can solve but try to memorize the direct formula, okay, pi by 4. Next question. The next question is tan of cos inverse of x, triangle form it is cos inverse of x divided by 1 that x indicates adjacent, 1 indicates hypotenuse. So we draw a triangle converting one inverse into another inverse, this is x plus 1 hypo Pythagoras theorem 1 minus x square, okay. What is it going to look like now? We require tan, tan is outside, tan means opposite by adjacent. So tan as it is, cos inverse of x can be written as tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. Opposite is root of 1 minus x square, adjacent is x. So what is the answer going to become now? Root of 1 minus x square divided by x. This form is called as triangle form with which we are going to convert one inverse function into another inverse function. Go through it. Pause the video, note it down. Let's go for the next question. The value of tan inverse of a by b, let's do the cross method again. We know this is first multiply, this is second multiply. First multiply a square 1, a square plus a b plus 1. This is first multiply. Okay, second multiply a into b, a b, a b plus b square. Okay, third multiply a square into a, we're gonna get a cube plus a square b, a square b plus a. Now with b again, what are we going to do? a square b. This is a square b, okay, a square b, a b square plus b, okay, this is the third term, fourth term is 1 into b minus b, so this plus b any by minus b anyhow gets cancelled. So if I take the common here a, what is it going to get a square plus a b plus 1, hmm? a square plus a b plus 1 plus a b plus b square okay so this total term and numerator term both are what are same this term this term gets cancelled what is the left out part 1 by a what is the left out part 1 by a so the correct answer for this question gonna become 1 by a cross method again what is the cross method this is first multiply this is second multiply this is third multiply denominator denominator numerator numerator in the numerator, we are going to be writing what plus, denominator we are going to write minus. This is first multiply, this is second multiply, this is third, this one is fourth. Cross method we are going to use, okay. In the previous problem also, we used the same method. Now also, we have the same method. Easily, we can complete the problem. Go for the next question. Now, this problem is regarding the substitution method. In the substitution method, we have angle plus angle plus angle is 180. So, what is this angle going to be? 60 plus 60 plus 60. So what we can write here, sin inverse of x is equals to 60, then x is equals to, x is equals to sin 60. What is sin 60 value? Root 3 by 2. Then y value? Root 3 by 2. Z value is also going to become root 3 by 2. All are similar terms. So we can solve the first one, root 3 by 2, root of 1 minus root 3 by 2, whole square. What is it going to become? Root 3 by 2, root of 1 minus 3 divided by 4. 4 minus 3 by 4, 1 by 4. Root of 1 by 4, 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So, root 3 by 2 into 2, this is root 3 by 4. First term is root 3 by 4. Second term is root 3 by 4. Third term is also going to become root 3 by 4. So, what is the answer going to become? 3 root 3 by 4. And you have 3 root 3 by 4 as your answer, but not there in the options. Let's verify. Option A is 0. Option B is 1, option C is x, y, z, where x is root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2. It is definitely 3 root 3 by 8. Now we have in the next one 2 x, y, z, that means 2 times of 3 root 3 by 8, 2 ones, 2 fours. What is the answer? 3 root 3 by 4. So which of the following option is getting the 3 root 3 by 4 now? Option D. So, option D is the correct answer. 
So that is how in the substitution method also we are going to solve the problems. Okay. See one more question. Tan inverse of 2x plus tan inverse of 3x is equal to pi by 4. We know the formula. It is going to become tan inverse of a plus b divided by 1 minus ab. 1 minus ab is equals to pi by 4. Tan is going to the right hand side. Tan pi by 4 it is 1. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. 5x divided by 6x square. 5x is equals to 1 minus 6x square. 6x square plus 5x minus 1 is equals to 0. How can we write this 6x square in terms of factorization? Uh, we can write like this, right? This is 2x plus 3x, 5x, 1 minus 6x square, 6x square plus 5x. So, shall I write plus 6x minus x here? Yes, we can write. So, if I take the 6 common, what is it going to look like 6x common? So, it is going to become x is going to become 1. 6x into x, 6x square plus 1. So, if I have here plus 1 as a common part, minus 1 as a common part, minus 1, here also we will be having what? x plus 1, minus x minus 1, right. So, what we can write here? 6x minus 1, x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, x is going to become 1 by 6 or x is going to become minus 1. So, 1 by 6 or minus 1 could be the correct answer among which 1 by 6 is given in the option. So, correct answer is what now? 1 by 6. Go through it. Let us move on to the next question. Similar manner, you are going to be having substitution method is very simple. This question I have already explained in the previous video lecture also. But now we will do with the substitution. 2 I am substituting here. 2 plus 1, 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. Tan inverse of 3 plus tan inverse of 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 2. So, here we will be having uh, x y value is greater than 1 okay? because 3 into 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1.5. So, what we need to do? We need to add 180 outside. So, pi plus tan inverse of okay? cross multiply, cross 3 2 is 6, 1 1 is 1, 2 1 is 2, 3 1 is 3, 6 plus 1 7, 7 divided by minus 1. What is it going to look like? Pi plus tan inverse of minus 7 absolutely satisfying with the right hand side so hence 2 is the correct answer 2 is the correct answer first substitution itself we got the correct answer in the previous video lecture if you watch i have did i did the uh, entire simplification method there okay we will be solving the same method cross multiply tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y form as we do denominator numerator denominator numerator denominator denominator numerator numerator do that method guys you will get the answer easily okay let us go for the next question. Sin inverse of 3 by 5 plus sin inverse of 5 by 13 is sin inverse of x. Now, it is in the form of sin inverse of x plus sin inverse y. That is equals to sin inverse of x, sin inverse of y. Sin inverse of x root 1 minus y square plus y root 1 minus x square. x is what? Uh, x is 3 by 5. 3 by 5 root of 1 minus that is 5 square by 13 square. Similar question we have got it. Uh, same question I guess. 5 by 13 root of 1 minus 3 square by 5 square. So, what is it going to look like? But outside we have now sine inverse. In the previous one we did with the cos inverse. Okay. So, this is 12 divided by 13. Here we have 3 divided by 5. 5 divided by 13. Here we have 4 divided by 5. 13, 5, 65. 13, 5, 65. 12, 3 is a 36. 36 plus 20. 36 plus 20, 56. So, what is the answer we have now? 56 by 65. Okay, with sine inverse, sine inverse, sine inverse of 56 by 65. So, yes, this is absolutely correct. In the previous problem, we did with the cos, then the answer was 33 by 65. Pause the video, note it down. Next question. We know the formula for cot inverse of x can be written as tan inverse of 1 by x plus sine inverse can be written as, if I draw a triangle here, Opposite is 1, hypotenuse is root 5, adjacent is going to become root 5 whole square minus 1 square, that is 5 minus 1, 4, root 4 is 2. We require tan inverse, tan inverse is opposite by adjacent, what is opposite? 1, what is adjacent? 2, tan inverse of 1 by 2. We know the cross method, 2 1s are 2, x 1s are x, 2 into x, 2x, 1 1s are 1, is equals to tan pi by 4, is equals to tan 45, what is the tan 45 value? 1. So, what is the answer now? 2 plus x is equals to 2x minus 1. 
So 2x minus x is equals to x, 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. So what is the value for x now? x is equals to 3, x is equals to 3. So this is how we have substituted all the uh, substituted all the formulas in the problems and got the answers eventually easily within three four steps only we are getting the answers so make sure you revise the formulas try to memorize them work out make a class sheet make a uh, short notes for it so that we can easily get all the concepts okay uh, watch this video two to three times to get the concepts clear with the shortcut methods with the formula methods and definitely will perform well in your examinations so keep watching saimita.in uh, app uh, and uh, keep watching the saimita youtube channel for the free content every single day we are updating don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends those who are having the fear of mathematics eventually at the end uh, till the examinations many videos are going to be getting updated so you can uh, if you go in the examinations by watching all these video lectures definitely you are going to be performing well okay so my dear students thank you very much for today tomorrow one more video i'll be coming back so until then keep watching saimada.in uh, youtube channel and uh, download the app to get much more content okay thank you very much this is mohan signing off